Um, what are your reasons for coming here? Just to see what the movement's about. See if I, I was with the San Diego from day one. Wow. When the San Diego occupation started. And then, um, I came here. They have tents. They have all this. And I just, I just wanted to see what it was about. Are you animated by a um, personal spiritual purpose? By what? Do you have a religion? Um, somewhat. You know, I'm still finding it in a way. But I do have. You know, I just, I don't know if I. I think, I think religion or spirituality takes a whole lifetime to complete. Does the completion or the goal matters, or is it all about the way? Um, it's a little bit of both, you know what I mean? If you obtain some of the goal and then you find your way. I don't know if it's necessarily all about getting the goal, but about, I'd say half to half. You know what I mean? It's understanding your way and understanding your goal. I don't think it matters if you get there as long as you understood the, what it was and you started to walk towards it. Why do you ask me these questions? Because if we make, uh, if we go into the wrong direction, we can always return uh, back again at the crossroads <laughs> right. and take a different direction. Yeah, that's true. Well, it was 11, 11. I like the way you put that. 11.22. Mm. Mm. Are you guys any questions? No, 10. Um, 11, no, 9. Wait. Do you have any strange experience uh, over here? Particular experience that you never had before? Uh, yeah, just camping with a whole bunch of people like this, that's the only, no really strange Yeah, I'm working experience. on my brain processing. No. Um, Something happened to me two nights ago that no, I can't explain. No, really. How much did you stay what here? What happened to me? I've been here. <laughs> I don't know. A total what's of days, going probably on. like 10 days. So 10 days? Like yeah. Because I came here once. I stayed here about 4 or 5 Big days, head. and then I've been here 5 yeah. days now. I've been here twice. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a sick. Have you had any strange experiences since you've been here? Yeah, from the encounters that I make. Yeah. Yes, I do. I thought I saw oh. them that from right now. The, the congregation and the agreement that we are all upon in here. Right. Uh, we are uh, aiming to walking to one direction, uh, but well, not all of us. But there are groups that form, and the formation of these groups, they are marching as one to, to the same direction. Well, they take a different path away all along, but they are really going to the same. Uh, with, would it be North Pole or um, or another magnetic uh, direction? While some other they are more looking after the money or after uh, uh, rebellion or yeah, that's true. But um, <laughs> strange questions asked. But no, nothing very strange has happened to me since I've been here. Just um, a lot of coincidences. Yeah. Uh, Subtle form of yeah. coincidence. Uh, I made it sound magic. Yeah, this may sound kind of conceited, but I feel like everyone knows me here. Everyone knows about me. We're all some kind of like chord, melody. Uh, does, that, does that make sense? Of course. <laughs> I don't know why that is. It's it's like everyone knows me, but I feel like everyone's been told about me. And I, did, I didn't know this, and I put this together, and I was like, how do all these people with strange, very strange. That That is the strange thing that happened to me. That is recorded. Yeah. Is that good for now? Do you have any more questions? Uh, uh, how long do you plan to stay uh, here? In LA? Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure yet. I was thinking about traveling. You yeah. know what I mean? If I go in this thing with So that's done. And then after that. I travel all the time. Constantly on the moon. So you're ready? Huh? You are ready? Who? To travel. Yeah, I've been traveling. You are traveling? Yeah. 
I've traveled. Not for 12 days, but... No, I've been traveling for like two and a half years. Yeah. I've gone from... Let's see, I've gone from Florida to Utah to Arizona to Hawaii from Hawaii to Florida to Utah to Arizona to California back to Arizona from Arizona to California Arizona to California and back again. So I've been traveling all around. In the last two years I've traveled a lot of miles. On planes, trains, cars, hitchhiking. Just getting there. I just decide to go and I go. And I always make it to where I'm trying to go and I have a good time along the way. And I always meet tons of people all the time. by uh, personal and uh, spiritual quest. I used to dislike that word very much, spiritual. <laughs> Not to dislike, but I found it misused all along. Right. It's like when people keep talking about energy, and for energy I was uh, reluctant to use so much about energy. But this is a lot about the vital uh, energy right. and the essence that we find, so to be animated by, by quest. It's like a walkabout. You know what a walkabout is? A walkabout. Yeah. It's like um when you walk or travel, I think it's aboriginal. They say they have a walkabout. If they have a walkabout, they do things like that. There you go. Yeah. Five minutes. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think everyone should go on a walkabout. And find their way. You know what I mean? Yeah. Everyone, you shouldn't just worry about, you know what I mean, a, a good job and all that. You should find yourself first. That way you know who you are. Most people don't know who they are, you know what I mean? Most people are programmed to believe, you know. They watch so much TV and they're like, I have to have this and a nice car and an education and a house. And then they wonder why they're unhappy. At the end of their life they say, I'm very unhappy. And then, then they realize that, you know, the people that they were like, those people are wrong, they're right, you know, because you only have one life. Well, you may have many lives, but as of right now, you're only given one life, so why not make the best of it? And go and travel and see and do the things. That's why the way the, way the system's set up now, it's not right. I think everyone should have to be homeless for at least six months, you know, to get, to get in touch with nature. Because I think that's where most of our problems uh, like stem away from is that people don't go to nature anymore, so they lose contact. They stay in these urban jungles, and this is what they think life's about, and it's not. Whereas if you were close to the land, you wouldn't want to pollute it and you know do all the things that, which we do to it. You want to take care of it, nourish it, treasure it, and we've gotten far away from that. And that's a hor horrible thing. And the greed, greed's caused a lot of things that should have never been to be. And science too. We did so many things on a scientific level where we should have took an ethics class and been like, do we really want to do this? Because once we built it, we couldn't take it back. You know? I think, I think there should be a, a scientific committee of like ethics, of 